M0 FXB Quanchang TK11. This is the Stroke 8 model. We're going to take it apart. So first thing we'll do is take off the battery. You just push that button and pull up. Okay. It's a nice battery, 3000 milliamp hour on the TK8 model. And uh, I'm pretty sure that inside they're the same radio. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is pull off the knob. Okay, it's very stiff, but we got it off. And undo this ring here. A little tip, if you've got an old bowfang lying around, pull the knob off, and inside there's the tool you need to undo that ring. Okay, so let's put it in, and just turn until it locks into the right place. And then remove the ring, which we've done. Now you can see that there is an LED there, and the, the 3.5 antenna, which... I'm very worried about, to be honest, because I've been doing tests and it's very fiddly. I, I think they wanted to keep the torch, um, but they should have done away with the torch or made this LED here at the front be a, a bigger LED. So it could have been a torch and then put, put in an SMA there, I think. That's what I think they should have done. So now we're going to undo one, two, three, four, and it should just pull up really. Obviously, you be careful because the sides... We're going to have some plastic bits inside. Can't find anything under there. So I'm just going to undo them four and then carefully see if I can pull it, pull it up and uh, keep an eye out. And just if you look there, there is like a rubber grommet there. But it looks like it's just going to come away. Um, and I just want to have a real close up on the circuit board and see what chips are there and see if we recognize any of the chips. Now it says T10H here and these aren't, aren't actually very tight so they're coming off easy just one two three four and they are magnetic which is nice so on the k5 you sort of have to lever it up down here there aren't actually any screws on the on the quashan k5 so it's going to pull that up slightly and I'm noticing there's some circuit board right at the bottom there, so I'd be careful. And just on the rubber side, look, there is nothing under that side where you've got the speakers. Just thinking about undoing these ones here. It just feels really stiff to pull it up at the moment. Yeah, and these are T6, these ones. So I'm going to take these six out. Just so I know that there's nothing holding it from this side. Are they magnetic as well? No, they're not magnetic, those ones. Now I've got the other model coming, uh, the normal TK5 as well. Um, so if I destroy this one, I will not be happy, but at least I have that one coming. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing them, trying not to lose. Right, they're all out. There is like a, a ring here, I'm going to take it off. I'm not sure if it's a bubble below the case, but I'm going to take it off anyway. And there was like a washer here that I've removed. I think that was a good plan because look, there's plastic here above that ring so that's probably why it felt quite stiff trying to I didn't pull that hard trying to remove it you also have this sort of rubber grommet that sat above here and um, let me show this this other washer all seems very well constructed okay it was over there as well right let's see if it's easier to pull from the bottom now yeah, and I would say yes, it, it definitely is. It's coming up easily now. Um, see the keypad there. And it's, I'm just easing it forward. For the first time as well. Uh, just looking for obvious. You can see the, the keypad there. And we've got to think about the speaker. That'll be there. Speaker connections. Uh, which are, by the looks of it, soldered. 
I get some more light on here. Okay. It's very similar to the Quashang screen. And there's your speaker. So I'm going to try and get this to focus. I wonder if we can just do that. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm not going to start removing all these parts. And the sides haven't fallen out. You know, normally on the K5, K6, the sides fall out, don't they? But they haven't. Interesting, there's two connectors, so... Let's just zoom into what it says here. Yeah, so one's the microphone. You can see that here, and then the speaker. And then the keypad just literally just rests there. Of course, you've got your... Let me just show you the keypad properly, sorry. So the keypad just rests. Microphone speaker and keypad here, screen that just clips in, can we see a make or a model of a screen, I can't, so let's just zoom into some of these components, really to properly look I've got to Remove it from the actual alloy sh chassis. Don't really want to do that, to be honest. But anyway, let's just zoom in. And uh, you can let me know what you think the components are. It's quite hard to do it filming. You can see the word mic, speaker. Now, regarding the SMA antenna, it's definitely doable that we could remove the LED and then change that to an SMA, but you'd have to butcher it a little bit. There's your LED. Mm. And the LED has been put into the actual chassis, which makes it a bit harder. <laughs> uh, Your little push pads. Well, you've got that blank US blank piece of plastic here, which would normally sit in that gap. So it looks like there is actually room. You look behind the plastic, the blanked out bit of plastic underneath the speaker mic. There is actually room for something. So that's interesting. Um, and what I'm thinking is USB C programmable rather than just charging. So let's just let me have a close look, see how hard it is to actually remove the, just these screws and lift it off because it'd be nice to see both, both sides. Please uh, zoom in, pause. If you want to have a look at what the components are. I mean, it's, you know, this, when they say, I hear the words junk about budget radios, they're so wrong. This is not junk. Just designing this would have taken thousands of hours. And then obviously arranging to have it mass produced. It's fantastic work. I know that that did that plastic did fall off there. That that's a loose cover. So yeah, I don't think I want to go further because if you look, I mean, it's nice the fact that we can open it up like this, and I'm sure the modifiers are going to love it, love that. There's solder joints here, so I'm worried that 
I undo those screws. Do I also have to? One, two, three, four, five. Will this all just lift away with it? Or do I have to desolder? So one, two, three, four. Sorry about my bad camera work, but it's quite fiddly, really. I might just loosen a couple and see how it feels. Okay, I took the one, two, three, four, fifth one coming off now. That's the one that was a bit tight because near the screen. The main thing is don't slip because if you slip and you, you know, damage one of those components, then it's not going to work, is it? I noticed the words here, 2512, and on the screen... You can see some numbers there. Okay, let's take that bottom screw out here. Okay, so it, it needs desoldering here, and I think here and here as well. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that to probably Paul. Oscar Mike Echo Tango, he's good at stuff like that. So, Paul, take it away. Bye for now. It was fun. 7 3.